In an ever-expanding world fueled by electricity, mankind has embraced a myriad of methods to produce energy. From burning coal, oil, or natural gas, to harnessing the rivers, the winds, and the sun, and more currently, the atom itself, through nuclear power. Currently in the United States, there are 104 nuclear power plants operating in 31 states, which produce almost 20% of our electricity. Worldwide, there are currently 438 reactors in operation, which produce 16% of the Earth's electricity. It is the number one source of emission-free electricity, which means, since no fuel is being burned, no air pollution is being produced. A nuclear power plant generates energy through a process called fission. What is fission? Matter is made up of billions of tiny particles called atoms. Each atom has a center, or nucleus, consisting of protons and neutrons. In some types of atoms, the nucleus is unstable and breaks up, releasing neutrons in a process called fission. In a nuclear power plant, uranium pellets the size of a AA battery are inserted into and stacked within stainless steel rods, which are then dipped into a pool of water. As fission occurs, the uranium superheats the rods which boil the water, turning it into steam. This steam then spins the turbine and the generator creates electricity which goes out to power local homes and businesses. In most fuel-powered plants, the end result is the same. Water is boiled, the steam turns the turbine, and the generators produce electricity. The only difference is how each plant produces the heat. In a coal, natural gas, and oil plant, fuel is burned to boil water. In a nuclear power plant, uranium is brought to fission to create heat. Unlike normal conventional coal power, which the majority of the country's power is supplied from, nuclear power is uh, you use a lot less fuel. It takes a lot less fuel. In coal, you're burning millions and millions of tons of coal in a year. Um, in a nuclear power plant, you're, you're burning maybe 1,000, 2,000 pounds of, of fuel. Since there is no burning, only excess steam, there is no air pollution. Although used fuel rods are safely stored at the nation's nuclear power plants, the storage facilities themselves are only temporary. Special containers are used to ship the spent fuel from the plant to a repository. The containers have been subjected to crash and fire tests before their designs were approved by the Nuclear Regulatory Commission. Used nuclear fuel has been transported without harm to people or the environment for over 30 years. The ideal permanent disposal for used nuclear fuel is deep underground, in a network of tunnels that safely isolate the used fuel from people and the environment. Every nuclear power plant is built to precise specifications, which in the end serves to construct an impregnable fortress. From perimeter fences and guard posts to high-tech surveillance equipment and highly trained security forces, the nuclear power plant is designed to keep any and all dangers at an arm's length. With site protection, it's, it's basically prevention from terrorist attack, but uh, beyond that we coordinate with other work groups, uh, support work activities at the site that require our, our attention. Uh, I think for me it's, uh, it's just the fact that you feel like you're a part of something more important than uh, your individual accomplishments, you know. Uh, from the security perspective, obviously, uh, we're responsible for protecting uh, the surrounding communities and, and just keeping everybody safe, and uh, it's, it's rewarding to know that we've done that successfully. Above all else, at a nuclear power plant, safety is first and foremost. From the mundane to the complex, every effort is made to ensure that both the employees on the inside and the environment on the outside remain unaffected from the inner workings of a nuclear power plant. The industry, they have a program called ALARA, as low as reasonably achievable. And major part of my job is to keep the radiation dose to the workers as low as reasonably achievable. So nuclear power is, is very safe. Uh, I guess in terms of dose, everybody thinks of the radiation. Uh, I've picked up one millirem in uh, the four and a half years I've worked here and uh, that's probably equivalent to standing in front of your microwave watching your burrito heat up. So, All the other elements of, of the nuclear business in general, one thing that we do that's I think pretty unique for the business climate is we cooperate with all of our, um, with, with every other nuclear utility in the country so that um, because of what we're what we're doing and the consequences of failure, um, all of the utilities that operate uh, nuclear plants, we cooperate with each other, we share information uh, readily so that 
somebody else doesn't make the same mistakes. Um, so I think that's that's one very unique aspect of the business that I wasn't really aware of. I always wanted to work for a company that that didn't have safety as a priority because priorities change. They come and go. Safety in nuclear power is a value. Values don't change. They're there forever. Not only are nuclear power plants good for the environment, they are good to the environment. They don't produce any carbon dioxide, sulfur dioxide, or nitrogen oxides. In fact, they produce no greenhouse gases. The small amount of waste that a nuclear power plant produces is carefully contained and safely stored. In fact, most nuclear power plants have a nature park or wildlife sanctuary flourishing nearby. At a nuclear power plant, our mission is to protect the public, uh, health and safety of the public first, employees, and operate the plant. And pretty much the same thing with EPA and NRC, protect the public, protect the health of the environment and people. So we have programs and procedures to deal with that, and uh, I'm responsible for those. I believe nuclear power is uh, right now the cleanest large source uh, of, of electricity generation, uh, cleanest and large, that, that's critical. Yes, solar has its place. Yes, uh, uh, geothermal has its place. Yes, wind turbines have their place. But for base loads, um, lots of capacity, lots of megawatts, we need nuclear power. Not only do nuclear power plants look to be a promising source of energy in the future, they also look to be a promising means of employment. Now for a young person, um, the age force is getting older, so as a young person it's very good to come in now. Um, there's a lot of opportunities out there. For me, at the time, it was a job opportunity that came up and looked very interesting. And ha in the 25 years I've been doing it, it has proved to be a very interesting job. I think if you're somebody who, who is ambitious and uh, likes to be challenged and, and likes to constantly be, be involved in different things, um, nuclear is, especially where we are now, um, in terms of the demographics of the workforce, it's, I mean, it's, it's a great opportunity. No matter what you're interested in pursuing in life, I think there's, there's an aspect of, of the nuclear field that, that would offer something for you. There are so many opportunities in this industry right now, money-wise, uh, advancement-wise. I would say take, I would take that opportunity because you're gonna learn a lot of new things. There are so many different areas that you can get into. It's not just one main, you don't have just one main thing that you do all the time. There's always different priorities you're gonna have and you, you have different opportunities to experience different um, jobs. You don't have just one, you can do different things. Everyone uses energy. It's something that isn't ever gonna go away. It appears from a nuclear standpoint that there's maybe a renaissance coming, you know, where there's a lot of new reactors being built that bodes well for the younger workforce. I mean, I know currently the workforce in nuclear energy is fairly aging, so for somebody like me and people with 10 years younger, that's even better due to the fact that eventually they're going to need our generation to run these plants. Well, for myself personally is to know that I make a difference. I can actually see at the end of, end of the day what um, what's come to pass based you know for what we've worked on to make sure that we do our part to leave um, leave the world a better place and I believe nuclear power is one way to do it uh, one of the ways to do it and I'm glad I play a, a role in helping Beaver Valley Power Station maintain that in a world seeking a clean source of energy nuclear power has and will stand at the forefront ensuring a safe and efficient way to power our homes and businesses while maintaining a clean and environmentally friendly way of life so we can have as little impact on the place we all call home.